Hi, I'm Jason, a technician with Cincinnati Bell. In this video, we will help guide you through the gateway rebooting process. If you happen to be experiencing internet issues, such as a slower than usual connection, no connection at all, intermittent Wi-Fi coverage, or maybe your tablet or streaming device keeps losing its connection, this process is designed to assist you in resolving these types of problems. Your gateway is a piece of equipment that provides your internet connection and can be found in a few different places in your home. It's worth mentioning that this video is only going to cover our four most popular gateways. You may find that your gateway or router isn't the same as one of these, but the directions can still be helpful. Let's start by locating it. You may actually remember where the technician installed your equipment, or perhaps you installed it yourself. If you're not sure where the gateway is, let me help you by showing you some of the most common places you can find it. Checking your living room or your family room, a lot of times, is where the tech may have installed it. Or it could be in a home office or an extra room. Many times, they are installed in a basement. In some cases, you may even find it installed in your garage. Now that you've located your gateway, give it a quick check for power. For the Zizel gateways on the front of the panel, you should see the lights on, which indicates there is power. For the Google Wi-Fi puck, the light ring will be lit. If for some reason there is no power, check for a loose connection. You also want to make sure that the outlet you are using is working properly. If your gateway is plugged into a surge protector, make sure that the surge protector is on by pushing the power button. Before moving on to performing a reboot, take a picture of the back of your gateway. This will help you remember where all your cables go. Next, go to the back of the gateway, find the power cord, and simply unplug it. You're going to want to wait at least 10 seconds before plugging it back in. Now that you perform the reboot, it can take anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes for the gateway to boot back up and restore its connections. The Google Wi-Fi Pux ring will turn solid white when it is reconnected properly. The 3415 power light will turn green if it has power. So will also the 4381 and the 660. Now that your gateway has rebooted, I want to make sure you know where to look and what to look for to ensure that your connection is back up. On front of the Zizel gateways, there are several lights. It is important to note that not every light on your gateway needs to be lit up in order for it to be working properly. Let's go through what each light represents, and that way you'll know if it should be lit up or not. The Ethernet LAN lights will light up if you're using a hardwired connection, like running an Ethernet cord to your computer or gaming system. Depending on your gateway, you may have up to four Ethernet LAN ports. Keep in mind, these will only light up if they are in use. The WAN light will light up, letting you know that the gateway is properly connected. The light must be on in order to restore an internet connection. You'll know that the gateway is finished rebooting when the internet light turns solid green. If your internet light is not turning a solid green, try repeating this process one more time before moving on to the next step. Grab a cell phone, tablet, or any other device to search for your Wi-Fi network. Once you have found your network, let's make sure you can connect to it. If you're not sure what the name of your network is, or what the default password is, you can find that information on the back of the gateway. Other ways to ensure your internet is working properly is by checking your TV streaming platforms that you use. You can also check to make sure that your connected home devices are working, like a Nest doorbell. Thanks for taking time to watch the video. We hope this will resolve your issues, but for some reason you are still experiencing issues, please visit our help center or our YouTube channel for more support and tutorial videos.